need to be changing the needle. So before starting with the wiring process, a quick warning to everybody that wants to follow along. Uh, in this part, we will be using mains voltages and these things are kind of hazardous if you don't know how to handle them. So make sure you know what you're doing because if you don't, you might end up injuring yourself or even worse. So this is the mains wiring bracket. I have the filtered one, so you just push it in, snaps into place, and we can just put it there. This wire, this is the ground wire, and it has this spades connector on here. So here we have the ground, here we have the neutral, and here we have the live wire. I'm going to connect the ground wire first. So we ground everything. This is the ground wire here, connecting it. Yeah, just leave, leave it like that. And we have these two, this blue and this brown wire. The brown wire is the live, the blue wire is the neutral. So we go with the brown wire on the live. This is the live. Here. And we hook up the live to this. You have the brown or the neutral wire. Let me hook up the neutral wire here. Push them in. They don't go anywhere. And that's it. Next. Taking the ground wire. And we hook it up. This is live, neutral, ground. One, two, three, on the third side. So unscrew that. Hook it in. Screw it back. Okay. As the first, going to this, we have this wire that's all connected. We have. This is also this is the neutral. We have a spade connector here. Connect the neutral on the same side of the switch here. Okay. And the neutral is the second one here. So we will connect it also to the power supply. Have this neutral. of the business and we screw it in like so. Next we go to the other power supply. So we have this small thing here. And we will connect first we'll connect the ground. This is the ground. Neutral ground. So you guys can see it. Live neutral ground. 
not these two, these two are the output. So, if I'm making the neutral, the next we connect the, the neutral to the second one. So, next to the ground. We have the neutral. Like this. And next we have the live wire. The live wire connects to the first bit. It's going to be like this. Okay. And we have one port sticking out from the neutral and one port sticking out from the live. But this one from the live will go to the heating heat bed relay. So this is the relay and we will connect it, connect the live. So we have this relay, we need to connect it to the load. So we have the load on top and we have the input at the bottom. So we need to connect this live wire to the load, to the one part of the load inside. And the other side will go. And the relay will come like this. One side connected like this. So, see, have the load, yeah. You connect, go from one to two. So one is the input, is the, the mains live wire. And two is the output. It doesn't matter. I think these can be interchanged. So just, just like that. Now we have almost all the main wires connected. One thing we need to do is connect the heating bed to to this other side somehow. What's the point? Now from this this side of the power supply I mounted I mounted the power supply here, the relay here and the, the small power supply over there. And from this side we have a lot um, a neutral wire that sticks out. This neutral wire should connect to this um, to this side of the to one side of the heating bed. So, if, so if we want to do this, we can uh, need to connect these two together somehow. Now we're going to use we're going to use some uh, space connectors. This goes in there. And the other side of the hot bed, heated bed, goes in here, to the relay. First things first, I'll, I'll pull these wires. For... So I crimped these and then two connectors, a little bit of heat shrink, so we'll be on the safe side and we kind of 
kind of can temporarily mount this like that. Okay. And other side of the of the star of the heated bed goes in there. That's it. Oh.